nothing prepares you really for war. It's not the gunshots, the mortar. It was the human side of war that wouldn't leave me. It was watching that Marine's last breath, or that's a baby that's been shot, or there's a person that's burned over 95% of their body. Eventually, though, I had a situation happen where we lost a patient and I thought to myself, I feel nothing. Because that's what happens with PTSD. You start feeling nothing. Problem sleeping, nightmares, panic attacks. My trigger was helicopters. And that sound of helicopters would make my body react. There's a loss of yourself. You lose yourself. Or one of my other friends said, the music in my soul has died. That's what happens with PTSD. It's an actual injury. I put off getting therapy for a long time. I just kept thinking, just it'll get better. Just suck it up. Get your ball, get your ball. Tender loving canines paired me up with Willow. Willow is like an old soul. <laughs> She wants to be with me all the time, and she knows everything about me. Oh. Are you purring? She helped me with sleep. She made me feel safe. She responded to my triggers, allowed me to be more out in public. You don't really want to socialize when you have PTSD. They make you socialize. I remember walking on the beach before, and I felt with my sunglasses on and my headphones invisible to the world. But when you have a service dog, people smile at you. They want to talk to you. Um, you know, and we don't necessarily want to talk. It's kind of forced therapy, but it works. It gets you back in life again. She allowed me to go back out into this world again and have feelings of happiness. It's not like I forgot about what happened in Iraq. It's just I processed that memory. And so the, they're sad memories, they're horrible memories, but they don't control my body anymore. And Willow helps with that, and therapy helps with that. If I can make a difference in one or two of those veterans, then that's my mission now. We all can learn from a dog. For a dog, there is no yesterday and there's no tomorrow. There's only the day at hand. And so many times with PTSD, you're living either in the past or the future. And I can't go back and change what happened to me in, in Iraq. But a dog wakes up every day ready for that day, ready to explore, ready to be with you. Today is important. Enjoy the day that we have.